This is Sports Center with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagy. Nine, as we say hi and hello to you here on Sports Center, Kevin Nagy, L. Duncan. Cowboys and Bucks are on the clock. Ooh, the NFL yeah. season starts tomorrow, so Swagoo storylines will highlight, highlight our NFL coverage. And, of course, we've got more U.S. Open action as well. But you talk about New York. Mm -hmm. The main attraction, the main event in the Bronx for 20-plus years. Spread the news, Kevin. It's official. Now entering the Baseball Hall <laughs> of Fame, number two. Yes. Derek Jeter. Number two, he'll join us later this hour on there Sports. There you go. Ben Roethlisberger not mincing words at all. As our Steelers reporter, Brooke Pryor, joins us now from Pittsburgh. Again, T.J. Watt at practice as a full participant for the first time this season. What does that mean for his chances of getting a new deal done before the season starts? They're looking at his resume and saying, T.J.'s having trouble getting paid? What? How is that possible? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Pryor was never going to get out of here without me dropping that on her. Thank you, Brooke Pryor. We're joined now by Patriots reporter Mike Reese, who joins, who joins us from Foxborough. And, Mike, what are his teammates saying about Mac Jones as he prepares for his season opener? You love that. It's funny because it feels like a couple of weeks ago, it felt like the writing was on the wall for Cam. We started hearing these stories about how he had endeared himself to his teammates by being a team first type of person. And we're going to see what happens on Sunday, his debut as he takes on another former Bama quarterback in Tua Tungabailoa. Mike Reese with the latest from Foxborough. With baseball's Hall of Fame ceremonies today, there will be a second set of the basketball ceremonies forthcoming this weekend after, of course, the 2020 class went in earlier this year. The 2020 selections will be enshrined on Saturday. And now on his way to the Hall, Weber recently conducted a revealing interview with our Myron Medcalf. And in comments that are newly released just today, the former Fab Five member signaled that a reconciliation with Michigan could be coming soon after his star-crossed time in Ann Arbor. Thank you so much for taking time for us on your very special day. And enjoy that, that dinner. I cannot wait for you to divulge all the secrets here with us on SportsCenter tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you know what we ate. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take it. Thank you. Age yeah. while people are still going through it. Absolutely. Sports is a distraction, but unfortunately for the folks down there in the Gulf, it is not. And it's like that.